So, I just watched this video right now by Slugs from Breaking the Cycle by Slugs, who was speaking about some of these YouTubers on here who are debriefers in SNY, been to SNY, but have been on YouTube for years lying about it. They've been giving false impressions as if they're all good. They never debriefed. They were never on SNY. And they've been playing their audience for fools. Now, there's a couple of things that he spoke on that I would like to speak to. Um, one, how when you when you do something like debrief, you know, you, you go and you get out of this gang because, you know, you want to change your life. You want a better life. You know, you want to break that cycle that you've been caught up in. You know what I mean? Um, you want out of the gang. You can no longer handle the heat or whatever it may be. Now, when you make a decision like that to turn on people and throw them under the bus and rat on them to change your life because you, you don't want no part of that no more, then you should change your life. You should get on with your life. You should no longer be like swine returning to its own crap, feasting off of its own crap, recycling the same. And then to be feeding this to your audience. If you made a decision to, to turn and walk away from something, then you should completely walk away from it. You shouldn't turn back Go get online and expose yourself, putting yourself out there back into the fray of it. You should just go get on with your life and disappear. Many people become informants and all that, and they're never seen from again. They go give their testimony in court, you know, mob guys or whatever, and you don't see them on YouTube. You don't see him on here, you know, reliving the past and trying to give impressions like there's still some wise guy, there's still some tough guy or whatever. Now, in the case of someone like Sammy the Bull, everybody knows his history. Well, it's easy to look up. And there's others that were part of the mob that, you know, let's say Mundo, for example. Everybody knows his story. Right? But him too, he comes on here and he tells all these stories. Now with Mundo, Mundo is just telling, reliving these stories. Whereas there are content creators, YouTubers on here who, like I said, have been giving false impressions since the moment they come on here that they've never read it on those organizations, that they were never on sensitive needs yards. They've been giving the impression that they're legends and that, you know, they're still in good standings just for the attention, just for the clicks, just for the clout. And the cold thing about it, as I've been saying, is that these very same people are obviously playing their audience for fools when they've been lying to him for so long. Now, if you make that decision to move on, to change your life, then that's what you should do. You should not be turning around and coming on here, acting as if you're still all that. You're still active. You're still whatever. It's in, it's in these very people's best interest to have moved on with their lives, to get on with their lives, live their lives totally at peace with all of it, never looking back. But so many of, him, of them have fallen in suit and are doing the same things. What's the difference between coming on here 
and giving false impressions about yourself or and, and or going back to a life of crime. When it should be a damn crime because it's a damn shame that you're lying about your history. And like I said, you're playing your audience, your subscribers, your viewers for complete idiots because they're convinced of the lies that you tell. This is bogus, man. This is fake. This is fraudulent. It's fake news. It's false advertising. People like that need to come clean with and come to terms with what they've done. I understand that, you know, people are ashamed of it. After they've done it, you know, obviously they're ashamed of it when they run from it and they lie about it. You must be ashamed of it. If you can't outright just admit to it. When there's been so many who have admitted to it. Because there's dropouts or whatever on here, debriefers or whatever, they've been there that they've never hidden that from people. They're not deceiving their audience. Whereas there are those who do. They continue to do that. And, and at this point, everyone knows who they are. These very people have been called out for years. And they've had, they've had so many people convinced of their lies and their deceit that these very people will go and talk crazy in, in, in people's comments. You know what I mean? Trolling people's comments when, when, when they expose those dudes for what they've done and what they continue to do. A cult of personality. Because they are the very same people to do stuff like that. Create fake accounts, go in your comments, talk crazy, troll. And they got a troll farm behind them to do the same. This has completely fucked up the game on YouTube. You know what I mean? For anyone in the genre <clears throat> that has stories to tell or whatever, and it, it, even if it's just a, to a storytelling thing, you just telling your stories. You ain't trying to accomplish anything but getting money out of it. Cool. At least be honest about that. And there are those who are, like, they just tell war stories. That's it. They're storytellers. They got, they got tons and tons of stories to tell, so they tell them. You know, there's those who don't try to act as if they're trying to do some good with what they're doing. They're just really good storytellers. They have some really good stories to tell. They're the truth, you know what I mean? And they do it. And there are others <clears throat> who, who claim that <clears throat> their intentions is to do good. They want to, they wanna, uh, you know, show people the inside and how it is or whatever and try to keep people from going there. Just like these very same lying thieves do. They make the same claim that they're trying to do some good. When in reality, how, how much good can you do when there's never a moral to the story? You're just telling these war stories for the, t for the sake of the view and for the sake of what money you can get from the audience. Like I said, playing their audience for idiots. It would be best to just admit to the truth, to accept it. Because the reality of it is, is these people are not going to stop supporting you. They're diehard. And you can get on, you can get on with yourself. Because otherwise, to continue down that road of lies and deceit, and to, and to continue doing what a lot of the, what these dudes are doing, to, to distract and deflect from what is true. The vicious cycle repeats. These very same people have been, been creating beef all along because it's all a distraction. These little bees going back and forth and 
You know what I mean? It's all to distract and deflect and to keep people's entertained and keep keep them away from that exposure that they know that they have. Because people have been calling them out for the same things. Race baiting, lying, being debriefers, being the SNY, like all of these, none of this is new. But if these people truly ratted like they did to get out and change their lives, then why are they still looking back? Why are they still going there and trying to give off these false impressions if it's true? Because there should be no looking back. You should be so far from that that the last thing you want is, is to draw attention to yourself and where you come from and where you've been and what you've done. I feel that these dudes owe it to their audience, to their subscribers, to be honest with them. Because that's foul, dude. To be deceiving the very people that are believing what you're saying. They're not going to turn on you because you admit that it's true. When by now, they get it. They wouldn't turn on you if you admitted it. They wouldn't care. And there's no good being done with anything that they're putting out there because they're trying to give these false impressions. There's no moral to the story. The moral of the story is that they're trying to make money. They are making money off of it. They're making a living off of it. These very people don't have to work. They work on YouTube. They work on their audience. They work on the deceptions that they that they put out there to deceive their audience, to keep them believing the lies so that they'll keep giving the money. They'll keep coming back. At some point, these people need to grow up and grow out of it. The shame, the guilt, and all of this, and, and the past itself. People in their 40s and 50s should not be doing that. They should have something else to demonstrate about the good that they've, that they've been able to accomplish so that people can see that as a demonstration. Like I said, these are not hardworking people that they grind it out like your like your average Joe Smo, like most of us. These are dudes that sit there and 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 culture vulture. They feast off the carcass here on YouTube. And what I mean by that is feasting off the carcass is 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 returning back to that. It's a dead dog. When you're so far removed from prison that you're nearly a decade or even a decade or so from the last time you were in prison and you're still going on and on and on about it in denial of the truth, it's delusional to say the least. But it's deceitful to your audience and that's disrespectful. It's shameful. But like I said, at some point, they're going to have to grow up and grow out of it. Or maybe they won't. But it's pretty evident that these dudes are caught up in the web of their own deceit and don't know how to get out of it. Well, the time has come for the eyes of the blind to be open. Because real recognizes real. It don't matter where you come from. It don't matter. It don't matter the streets you come from, the gang, the prison. It don't matter none of that. Real recognizes real in the field. And the real will always know that. And like I said, they don't even have to come from the hood or from prison and never had to have been there to recognize the real because they themselves are real. 
Some of us don't lie. We don't have no need to. But others, they must perpetuate it. But people need to cease with it now. Seriously. They seriously need to look in the man, look at the man in the mirror and be honest about themselves, with themselves, and then turn around and be honest with their audience. I promise you'll get a lot, lot further by doing that. Because the more you lie at this point, when there's so many people who know, then ain't going to work out well for you because it's going to continue to be content for other people to put out. It's going to continue to be fuel for the fire for others when you yourself refuse to extinguish it. But if you dropped out and it was to change your life for the better, then we should, we should clearly see that here. There should be a clear demonstration of that difference that has been made in your life. Not recycling, regurgitating the same crap over and over, because that's lies. But it's time that the blind open their eyes because these dudes, yeah, they did that. They debrief, ran it, ran to SNY, and they've been giving false impressions all along, lying on there, and it makes no sense at all. Not to no real one. And I'm going to leave you with that. Peace! Mouth.